Meet Gene Chapin, a store manager from Springfield. Judy Shepard, a consultant from Sandy. And our returning champion, David Dorian Ross, a Tai Chi instructor from Portland. They'll be buying for more than $9,000 in cash and prizes, including an outdoor adventure. This personal computer, a trip to our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and a chance at $5,000 cash. They'll be playing the Northwest award-winning game show on the spot. And now, here's the host of Channel 8's On the Spot. It's Larry Blackmore. <laughs> Thank you, Michael Bailey, and welcome, everyone. We're glad you can join us again for another edition of On the Spot. On our last On, on the Spot, our champion won himself a trip to London, over $5,000 in cash and prizes. Did very well. We hope to repeat again tonight. And now, we get right into our game. The way we do that is by revealing, for the first time in the game, the category board. Six categories in the game, three questions in each category, and players, you'll want to study the category board because you'll only see it now and at two other times during the game. And you'll need to keep track of the number of questions used up in each category. Our categories tonight are comics, inventions, food, words, science, and the 60s. We start each player with 1,000 points. We give them 100 points for each correct answer. Subtract 100 points for an incorrect answer or if they call for a category that's been exhausted. And now, players, we turn the board away from you. A reminder, we use toss-up questions throughout the game. And, of course, toss-up questions do not come from the categories you've just seen. We start the game with a toss-up question. Let's get started. Which is the second smallest state in the United States in area? Is it Rhode Island, Delaware, or New Jersey? Yes, Gene. Delaware. Delaware is right. Rhode Island is the smallest. <laughs> Off to a good start, Gene. First 100 points. Category? Inventions. Inventions is the category. Ferdinand von Zeppelin is best remembered for giving us... Yes, David? The balloon. The Zeppelin. Well, no. We're looking for something more specific. The, uh, g uh, the hydrogen balloon. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Too much time. Judy. The helium dirigible? Dirigible is what we had mm -hmm. to have. Yes, the helium dirigible. The rigid frame. The balloon doesn't have a frame, and that's the difference. Judy, go ahead. Words. Category is words. What linguistic term refers to the study of the structure of grammar? Yes, David. Uh, etymology. No, for the other two players, is it synod, syntax, or simile? <laughs> Gene. Syntax. Syntax is what we're looking for. And Gene, up to 1,200 points. Category for us. The comics. Gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today, David. Wimpy. That was Wimpy of uh, Popeye fame. That's right. The cartoon character we were looking for. Go ahead, David. Science. Category is science. Question is, what are the bumps on a toad? Are they insect bites, glands, or camouflage? David. Glands. They are glands. Absolutely right. Brings you back up to 1,000 points. And, David, you're on the spot. Science, please. What rocket engineer developed the V-2 for Germany and the Jupiter rocket for the U.S. Judy? Von Braun. Von Braun, yes. Up to 1,200, tied for the lead. Judy, go ahead. Words, please. Categories, words. Which of the following is a judge if he is venal? Is he open to bribery, very strict, or never wrong? David. Open to bribery. That's right. Venal is open to bribery. It is a derivative of the word mercenary. And, David, go ahead. 60s, please. Category is the 60s. Who is Lyndon Johnson's 1964 vice presidential running mate? Was it Richard Nixon, Hubert Humphrey, or... Yes, Gene. Richard Nixon. No, for the other two players, Judy. Humphrey. Hubert Humphrey was right, yes. You're back in the lead now, Judy. We're going to pause for just a moment. We'll be back with more of round one of On the Spot right after this. Once again, it's back to Channel 8's On The Spot and your host, Larry Blackmore. Thank you, Michael. And during our break, our players had a chance to see the category board once again, and now we have a chance to talk with each one of them. And we start with Gene Chapin. Gene is from Springfield, Oregon, and a store manager. You're also a former cash call-in winner. Is that right, Gene? Uh-huh. About two years ago, I was laying on my couch watching On The Spot, mm -hmm. and you had the Maui call-in. Right. And laid on the couch, and you guys told me to get up and call. I did and got thrown my first try and <laughs> spent a week in Maui. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of people out there that love to shoot you for getting through on the first try. <laughs> a lot of people back we home have, wanted to shoot me. I know. We have people who call us every day and say, I've tried 50 times and I can't get through. And of course, we just finished two weeks ago giving away $8,888. And I tried every day to call in. Did you really? <laughs> well, you got the Maui trip, though. You enjoyed yep. it very much? Yes. Good. Thank you very much. And thank you for the card. We enjoyed that as well. Gene, thank you. And uh, up to 1,100 points. Doing well. Our next player is Judy Shepard from Sandy, a nursing home consultant. And you and your husband met at a dance. Is that right, Judy? That's right, Larry. I was a colleague.
college student at the time, and he was in the service. We met at a dance, and that night at the dance, they had a special raffle, uh -huh. and what they raffled off was a night on the town, all expenses paid. My husband won it and came over and asked me to go out with him that evening, oh, or the following evening, right. and um, at that time, he proposed. Isn't that great? And that was 27 years ago. <laughs> How time flies. <laughs> a real love at first sight story, it, though. It, yes, it was. That's great. Yeah. Well, we're glad to have you here, and you're doing excellent tonight. Thank, Thank you for you. being with mm -hmm. us. Our returning champion with over $5,400 in cash and prizes, okay. including a trip to London, David Dorian Ross from Portland, a Tai Chi teacher. And uh, is Dorian your middle name? Actually, it's a hyphenated first name. Uh, Dorian is my father's name, and David's my uncle's name. And put the two together, and you have David Dorian. Uh -huh. uh, interestingly enough, my wife's name is also Dorian. Uh, <laughs> At first, I didn't know this because everybody calls her Dory. It wasn't right. until we'd been out a few times that I found out her full name is Dorianne. Fascinating. So it was fate. Yeah. There, well, there's a certain amount of uh, coincidence with all three of our players tonight. That's very interesting. David, glad to have you back as champion. You have 1,100 points. Judy has 1,300. And Jean has 1,100. Judy, you had the last correct answer. Give us a category. Words, please. Category is words. Which of the following words means a person who makes an excessive show of learning? Is it a neophyte, a pedant, or a martinet, David. A pedant. A pedant is right. Yes, person who overemphasizes rules and education. David, go ahead. Food, please. Category is food. What pasta gets its name from the Italian word for tongue? Is it lasagna, linguine, or rotini? Yes, Linguini. David. Linguini, yes. You can hear a language in that word if you listen carefully. David, go ahead. Ling um, food, please. <laughs> food. Or linguine, yes, that would be fine. Which of the following literally means outside the works? Is it hors d'oeuvres, a la carte, or gazpacho? Gene. Gazpacho. No, challenge. Judy. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres are outside the works or outside the plan for that meal. Well done, Judy. Up to 1,400 points. Go ahead. The 60s. Categories of the 60s. Timothy Leary was kicked off the faculty of what Ivy League university? David. Yale. No, for the other two players, Judy. Harvard. Harvard in 1963. That's right. It was Harvard and Judy up to 1,500. The 60s. What, in 1966, who did Ronald Reagan beat for the California governorship? Was it Pat Brown, Richard Nixon, or Sam Hayakawa? It is Gene. Hayakawa. No, challenge. Judy. Pat Brown. Pat Brown, yes. Jerry Brown's father, two-turn incumbent in the state. Less than a minute to play, and Judy, you're on the spot. Comics. What is the name of Bill Cosby's cartoon gang? Are they called Bill's Buddies? Cosby's Kids. Cosby's Kids, that's it. Well done, David. Another 100-year score, David. Comics again. What Peanuts character plays Beethoven on a toy piano? David. Schroeder. It's Schroeder. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very dedicated young man also. 1,400 points, David. Science, David. please. By what name do we know Edison's 1887 invention, the Kinetoscope? Yes, David. Motion picture. That's right. It is moving pictures. That sound indicates the end of round one. We'll have an exciting round two of On the Spot coming up right after this. Welcome back to On the Spot. We've got a very close game, and we're just about ready to get into round two. And players, in round two, everything doubles. 200 points for each correct answer. The one who's ahead at the end of this round is going to win a great prize, and our runners-up are going to take home a whole list of them. Michael, let's hear about it. From Harbor Lights, each of our runners-up will receive a certificate toward delightful treasures, extraordinary accessories, and Christmas magic. Harbor Lights at the beautiful River Place Marina. And from the Flower King, they'll receive a $100 gift certificate toward beautiful, fresh flower arrangements, perfect to brighten up anyone's day. For giving with style, it's the Flower King at Portland's River Place Marina. And they can keep their favorite little spot dry for years to come with their very own Shed Rain umbrella. And now back to our very own Larry Blackmar. Oh, you're stuck with me, Michael. No choice about it. And we're ready to get into round two. The way we do that is by revealing for the last time in the game the category board. Same six categories we used in round one. We have replenished the number of questions. Again, there are three in each category. There is also a spotlight question in round two that is buried on the category board on which one of you will be able to wager up to 500 points if you happen to pick that particular question. Folks at home can see exactly where that's located on the board. You will know it as soon as you pick it. And with that bell, we turn the board away for the last time in the game, players. One reminder, you have one opportunity to pass your turn in the second round. That may become very important as we get close to the end of the round. We start round two with a toss-up question. Let's begin. In what city would you find the Alamo? David. San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas. That's right. First 200 points of round two of yours, and you're in the lead. Go ahead, David. Inventions, please. Elias Howe is credited with the... In yes, Gene. 
No, too much time for the other two players. Is credited with which of the following inventions? Is it the elevator, the sewing machine, or the staple gun? Judy? The sewing machine. The sewing machine, that's right. Gene knew it sounded right. He wasn't quite sure what it was. Judy, up to 1800. You're in the lead. Go Inventions. Ahead. That is the spotlight question. Without wasting any time, we're right off to it. Let me recap the scores for you. Gene has 700 points. David, 1700. You have 1800. You may wager up to 500 on this. I'll wager 200. 200. All right. Categories, inventions. It's your question alone. Okay. Who's credited with inventing, or the invention, that is, of the bifocal lens of eyeglasses? Is it George Washington Carver, Thomas Edison, or Benjamin Franklin? Franklin. You've got 200 more points. And Emma Berry of Portland, you've got a $50 gift certificate to the Harborside Restaurant and Shanghai Lounge in Portland. We hope you enjoy that courtesy of On the Spot. And Judy, up to 2,000 points. Pick a category for us. Inventions. The X-ray was first put to practical use by which of the following people? Was it Samuel Morse? Ret yes. Retkin. Retkin is right. Yes, Wilhelm von Retkin. Exactly right. And Judy, up to 2,200. The 60s, please. What country's history was dramatized in the 1960 movie Exodus? David. Israel. Israel, that's right. You're up to 1900, David. 60s, please. What fashion model was Look Magazine talking about in 1967 when it asked, is it a boy or is it a girl? David. Twiggy. Twiggy is right, yes. <laughs> she was so thin, it was hard to tell. David, category. The 60s. Sunrise at Campobello was a 1960 film. Judy. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That's what we're looking for about what American politician starred Ralph Bellamy as the president, president in Europe to 2400, Judy. Food, please. If you cook your spaghetti al dente, David. Slightly tough. Slightly tough, that's good, we'll take it. Chewable, but not too soft. Well done, up to 2300. Go ahead, David. Do it again. What is another popular name for the chickpea? Is David? The garbanzo bean. That's right. It's the garbanzo bean. You know your food. You're up to 2,500. You just took over the lead, David. Science, please. Changing categories. What word describes the division of two cells that are identical to their mother cell? Yes, David? Mitosis. Mitosis. That's it. Now up to 2,700, David. Science again. At zero degrees Celsius, what is the temperature in Fahrenheit? Yes, Gene. 32 degrees. 32 degrees. Absolutely right. Of course, that is freezing in both scales. Gene? Comics. Categories, comics. What is Mary Worth's occupation in her comic strip? David? She's a, a, she, a caterer. <laughs> no, too much time. For the other two players, is she a nurse, an apartment complex manager, or a secretary? Secretary? Gene. No, she's an apartment complex manager. A lot to say. Who knows? <laughs> On the TV show Alice, which waitress told Mel to kiss my grits? Was it Flo? Yes, David. Flo. Flo was the one, yeah. <laughs> She liked to say that in most every show, too. David, go ahead. Okay, science, please. What insect is known for a dance to that communicates newfound food to its fellow insects? David. The bee. It's the bee, yes. It's how they find and gather new honey. David, go ahead. Uh, comics, please. Name Garfield's comic canine partner, David. <laughs> too much time, Gene. Odie. Odie is his name, yes. Excellent. Up to 900, Gene, go ahead. Inventions. Oh, that one's exhausted. We've used all of those up, and players, we go on to a toss-up. Which of the following, on average, is the largest snake in the world? The boa constrictor. No, for the other two players, is it the king cobra, the boa constrictor, or the python? Judy. Python. The python. Yes, they can average up to 30 feet. Up to 2,600, uh, almost in the lead, Judy. Go ahead. Food, please. Japanese tempura is which of the following? Is it in a shell, batter dipped and fried? David. Batter dipped and fried. That's it, batter dipped and fried. Usually a very light covering, 2,900 points. David, go ahead. Let it pass, please. All right, let me recap the scores. Gene has 500, Judy 2,600, you have 29. Uh, pass to Judy, please. Judy, you must pick a category. Mm, the inventions? That one's exhausted. We must subtract 200 points. The strategy does work. Players will go on to a toss-up. What songwriter was hired by the Bonneville Power Administration as a research assistant? Yes, David. Woody Guthrie. Woody Guthrie, yes. He's hired in 1941, wrote the song Roll On Columbia, along with many others. Less than a minute to play, David. The 60s? Oh, that one's exhausted. And, uh, players, we must move on to a toss-up question. Where was Papillon kept as a prisoner? Yes, David. Devil's Island. That's right, off French Guiana. His real name, Alfred Dreyfus. And made back those 200 points. Now we need a category, David. Uh, science, please. And that one's exhausted. Again, 200 points we subtract. Toss-up question, players. According to their jingle, what company does chicken right? David? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried, that's it. 
And here we are again. The category. Words, please. There you go. Which of the following means ancient or white or gray-haired from age? Is it hoary, hairy, or frumpy? David. Hoary. Hoary is the right word, yes. H-O-A-R-Y. And David, up to 3,300. Words again, please. Which of the following best describe, describes, that is, halcyon? Is it light red, calm and peaceful, or ancient? David. Ancient. No, challenge. Judy? Calm. Calm and peaceful. That's halcyon, yes. Players, that sound indicates the end of the game. Gene, 500. Judy, 2,600. David, with 3,100 points. You are two-time champion of On the Spot. Congratulations. We've got another great prize for you, and Michael has the details. Absolutely right. From the friendly folks at the Flying M Ranch, David, you and a friend will soon be treated to a very special and uniquely Northwest getaway. Your stay includes lodging a trail ride in the great outdoors to whet your appetite and an old-fashioned cookout when your day is done. All of this from the Flying M Ranch. And now, once again, Larry Blackmar. And when we come back, two-time champion David Dorian Ross will play for a computer, a trip to Washington, D.C., maybe $5,000 in cash. Stay with us for the Flash Round. Now, Pay and Pack's 36th anniversary sale with the best prices of the year. Kohler White Cast Iron Lab, $69. Save $30. Kohler White Toilet. $67. Save $30 at Pay and Pack. Sylvania's Soft Whites. 99 cents for two twin packs after rebate. Sylvania Three-Way Bulbs. $1.99 a pair after rebate. Save one half. Pay and Pack Home Centers. Unmatchable. 36th anniversary sale. Lou Boston, President, Gresham Chrysler, Plymouth. I personally believe that the sale begins when you actually drive off the lot and you have to return for service. It's called customer responsiveness. How do we respond to your problem? How do we react to your problem? How fast can we solve your problem? We also call that after the sales support. And we at Gresham Price of Columbus believe that that's our number one priority, to be able to provide you with high quality service and parts for your needs and for your car. with Pizza Hut pears. Now two delicious medium pan pizzas bubbling with cheese. Just $10.99. Add toppings, $1.29 each covers both pizzas. Making it hot, making it twice, getting it fast and loving the price. Now America's favorite pizza is making a great deal. Two medium cheese pan pizzas, only $10.99. Add toppings, $1.29 each covers both pizzas. Pizza Hut, making it great. Celebrate the Northwest with Disney Days in Portland. The week of events begins in Pioneer Courthouse Square, where Mickey and Minnie get a Rose City welcome. There's more family fun on tap when you meet and greet the Disney characters over breakfast. The excitement continues with Merlin the Magician and Max the Juggler performing each day. Plus, be sure to see the exotic birds of Discovery Island. Disney Days in Portland is brought to you by Channel 8, 62 KGW, Kink FM 102, and Meyer and Frank. Stay with us. We'll have more of On the Spot coming up in just a moment. First, let's check in with Teresa and Jack, see what's coming up on PM Magazine. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're at the World Forestry Center, and we're going to show you around the golden age of radio exhibit. Also tonight, we'll have a story on the two latest visitors to the San Diego Zoo. They're giant pandas on loan from China. And while we're on the subject of China, our Phantom Reviewer visits a Chinese restaurant in Salem. And we'll also show you the inside world of Jonathan Winters. That's tonight on PM Magazine. If you'd like to be a contestant on On the Spot, just send us a postcard. You can send it to Contestant On the Spot, Post Office Box 1061, Portland, Oregon, 97207. Thank you, Michael. Aren't we clever with that address? Yes. And uh, we're back with our champion, David Dorian Ross. And David, you're two-time champion. You've got yourself over $5,700 in cash and prizes so far. And now we get to the flash round. Even better chances to win. We've got $1,000 on the inner wheel. We've got more cash on the outer wheel. And two great grand prizes, a home computer system, a trip to Washington, D.C., and Michael Bailey has all the details. Ah, yes. David, you could win this Amiga personal computer from Clackamas Computers. The Commodore Amiga is a sophisticated dual-drive computer that lets you point at symbols instead of learning complicated commands. From home budgets to games, color animation to composing music, this Amiga computer does it all, courtesy of Clackamas Computers and On The Spot. 
four, courtesy of Trans World Airlines. You and a friend could be on your way to the capital of the United States, Washington, D.C. It's a vacation you won't forget. From the Washington Monument to the Jefferson Memorial, you'll see and experience our country's great heritage as you relax and enjoy the history around you. All from TWA. Find out how good they really are. And back to Larry. And David's going to have a chance to find out how good they really are. He and his wife will be on their way to London since the uh, last game. And now we're going to play the flash round. Of course, we've got cash up here, and you see two segments that say 62 KGW Radio on them. That's because you're a two-time champion. We've doubled the opportunity for you to land on that. If you get all 10 right in 60 seconds, you'll win yourself five thousand dollars in cash and we've got more to tell you about 62 62 kgw radio sounds like fun and now 62 offers you the chance to play the 5k giveaway how much fun can you have with five thousand dollars it's from 62 kgw all right and david what we're gonna have you do is spin both wheels we're gonna play the flash round good luck to you give them a good spin $50 for each correct answer. The computer system, if you get all 10 right in 60 seconds. David, you've done very well so far on flash rounds. 10 questions that are not multiple choice. You must give me an answer, but you can guess as many times as you want, and you can pass. We'll come back around if there's time. Are you all ready? I'm ready. Here we go. To sing a cappella is to sing without what? Without music. That's right. What is Europe's most mountainous country? Switzerland. Correct. Which organ in the body heals the quickest? The heart. No. The lungs. No. The liver. No. The kidneys. No. The stomach. No. Uh, pass. What's the lowest card in a pinochle deck? A uh, pass. What religion did George Fox found? Uh, Quakers. Yes. Bone China is made from what type of material? Porcelain. Yes. Who is still the only undefeated world heavyweight boxing champ? Joe Lewis. No. Um, Muhammad Ali. No. Uh, pass. What would you purchase on Seville Row in London? Uh, clothing. That's right. On what monument will you find the poem, The New Colossus? Um, pass. In one hour, how many degrees of an angle does the minute hand on a clock pass through? Uh, 360. That's correct. Going back, which organ in the body heals the quickest? Uh, mouth. No. Um, pass. What's the lowest card in a pinochle deck? The ace. No. Um, the two. No. Um, the king. No. Pass. Who is still the only undefeated world heavyweight boxing champ? Uh, Joe Fraser. No. Um... Those were tough ones. They were very tough. <laughs> yeah. Good, good job, though. Who is still the only undefeated world heavyweight boxing champ? Rocky Marciano still holds that title. On what monument will you find the poem, uh, the new Colossus Statue of Liberty? The lowest card in a pinochle deck. I guess you'd have to play pinochle to know this. It's a nine. And the eye is the fastest oh. healing of the body's organs. But you got yourself six of them right. We've got $300 in cash for you. And David, hold out your hand. We'll just keep adding this to your total. We've got one, two... $300 more in cash, and we add that to your grand total on On The Spot. $6,770 in cash and prizes. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. David, a two-time champion. Will he make it for a third time? We'll have him back on the next show to face two new players, and we hope to see you then as well. Until then, so long, everyone. If you'd like to be a part of our studio audience, just call at 220-1505 for more information and to make free reservations. Courtesy of the Harborside Restaurant Shanghai Lounge, some of our audience members enjoy a delicious dinner for two down at the beautiful River Place Marina. Travel accommodations for some of the prizes for On The Spot are provided by Transworld Airlines. From the Rose City to New York City and the Bahamas, it's TWA. Find out how good they really are. Next, Burt Reynolds tells Entertainment Tonight that he's switching channels into high comedy for his new motion picture and reveals what he hopes to gain from this project. Then stay tuned for some local fun with Channel 8's PM Magazine.